Here is a video of the cast and what I think of each all-star player. Sorry I can't talk too loud because people are sleeping in my house. But I will give you my take and what I feel and then you can comment down below and tell me if you agree or if you disagree and why you like that person over me not liking them or vice versa. Why you like them and me dislike them or me like me hate them and you like them. Let me know in the comments down below and we'll have fun with this. I'll try and get this up by Sunday but we'll see. The premiere was yesterday um, August 5th, 2020 and there's a lot of twists and turns. There's even a safety sweet thing so can't wait to hear more about that on Sunday and spoilers will be at the end and if anybody knows anything about Big Brother After Dark and why Pop TV is not showing that especially on a good season like we've got here or if you know if it's going to be on later let us know if you know anything about Big Brother After Dark I think they should have Big Brother After Dark because it's not fair for the poor people or the people that can't buy online and want to see the feeds but only want to see a few hours of it because we all know CBS doesn't show the good stuff. Anyways, here we go. And I will tell you what season they came from and if I remember them and whatnot. So let's get started. We will start with Christmas. Now a lot of you are pissed off that Christmas is in the house. You guys are like, oh my god, why is Christmas in the house? She should not be in the house. Blah, blah, blah. Because she was boring and when she broke a foot, her season, she should have been out. Da, da, da. No, she has the right to be an all-star. She has the right to have a second chance in the house to redeem herself and to show us how good she really is in the game since we never got to see that. So I'm glad she's in the house, and she is from season 19, and by the way, if you want to know anything about Big Brother or see pictures, live feeds, whatevers, you can follow me on Twitter, I am Alien88, and you can get on the Surviving Big Brother list on there, sub to that, and then you can see everything, If you, or you can go to my group, Facebook group page called Surviving Big Brother. If you need a link, let me know and I'll give it to you. And now that she's playing the game again, she is 38. Okay, now I agree that David should redeem himself and get to be back in the house because he was never evicted out of the house. They never put him on the block and evicted him. The guy, the guy just, I think it was Swaggy, was it Swaggy? No. I don't think Swaggy was it. No, it was Cody? I don't remember who it was. But they put him on to do the camp thing, and that's what got him to lose the game. So we didn't really get to see him in the house play the game. Plus, he's the first ever house guest that got evicted from the house guest. Got evicted from the house and is come back for a second season or for a second time so I like to see hopefully he's not the first this time and we'll see how his gameplay plays out he was from season 21 yeah and he's 30 Nicole I guess I'll call her Nicole A I disagree I, 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 I don't mind her She's a sweet, innocent, caring girl. That's who she was in her season last year. And I think, in my opinion, they should not have brought her back. Because she was boring. I'm glad she won fan favorite, but in my opinion, as in gameplay, she was pleasant to see in the house and stuff because she was so nice. You could easily talk her into things, and but it, but also talk her out of things and have her question herself. So you never knew what she was going to do. 
but in my opinion, I think she was a boring person and should not be back. And she was in season 21, of course, and she's 25. This is Danielle. She hates being called Danielle. Honey, she likes being called Danny. She's the one that married that guy that was in the house a long time ago and I'd be with. She is the one that blocked her dad, evil dick, on everything. Wants nothing to do with him. Won't even let her granddaughter, him, see his granddaughter. And when she said the last time she was in the house, she was playing with somebody. But wouldn't say his name. Very awkward. I don't understand how she can be so rude, so mean to her father. I would love to have a father like hers who is caring and is trying. He's trying so hard to be in her life and wants to be a father to her and wants to be there for her and help her out. And, and he even tells her happy birthday even though she's not going to see it because she blocked him. And yet she ignores him. And wants nothing to do with it. It makes no sense. All girls, all kids would love it if they had a father like, like that. But anyways, he is rooting for her and he wants her to win. And she is from season 8 and, and 13. Now she was supposed to play with her father twice. She was kind of glad he wasn't in the house the second time. Because she could actually play her own game. She's 33 now. Then we have Cody. He is the one that has the brother Polly, who is also in the house. And I thought it was weird when they were showing Cody saying goodbye to his family members that Polly wasn't there to say goodbye to him. And I think it would have been really cool if they had Cody and Polly both on the show at the same time and see what the brothers would do. But. We'll see what Cody does. Here, here comes some spoilers. If you don't want to hear them, fast forward a little bit. But Cody got HOH. And Cody is already working with another house guest, which we'll talk about later, in the HOH room and wants to work with him. So that's good news. And we'll talk about that later. But he's from season 16 and he's 29. Kevin. Now I'm shocked that they brought Kevin back. He, like, when you see Kevin, he is the most funniest, silliest gay man on the planet. And he screams gay when you see him. But he's awesome. He is amazing. But I don't think he should be an all-star because he really didn't, in my opinion, Yes, he brought the funny in the house, he brought the silliness, the goofball of him, the cringiness, but it, he didn't bring anything else, in my opinion, to gameplay. But, I'm glad he's in the house, he's a likable person, and that's what you need in Big Brother. He's from season 11, and he's 40 years old. Dude, you don't look 40, you look like you're in your 30s. Okay. Tyler, 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 Tyler. Now, if I don't remember to link it down below, if you go to my Big Brother stuff, you can see a video that him and Angela made before he left, talking about why he's doing the show without her. Because he has said in the past, Tar, he has said in every interview, I will never do the show without Angela. But then when they called and wanted just him over her, over both of them, he had to question it. And you can see more in their video if you go watch it that she posted. But she tripped us last night when she went live with Haley and was like, yeah, Tyler's in the shower. You know how he is. He takes forever. Tyler needs to hurry the fuck the hell up because the show's about to start and he needs to see, we need to see if his all-stars that he has chosen will be in the house. She tricked us because... He's in the house. That was a good trick because I thought she was telling the truth. Girl. But he's going to be working with Cody. 
as I said previous, we talk about later, what's well, later. He's going to be working with Cody, and that's good because I think it's not fair that he's from Big Brother 20, and he's 25, by the way. Big Brother 20, and he's the only one, one of the only ones from Big Brother 20. He has nobody that he likes in the house, that he knows in the house, to help him. It's like a new, it's like he's the, like a new guest in Big Brother. And I don't think that was fair. They brought everybody else's friends in, and, and players from the same seasons in, but nobody for Tyler. I didn't think that was fair. So it was kind of nice that Cody was like, dude, I gotcha, I gotcha. So that was pretty cool. I mean, he has a certain somebody in the house that he had a fight with, and they made it pretty awkward. But anyways, we'll talk about that when she comes up. Oh, she's right here. So let's just talk about it. Baylor. Baylor. When I saw Baylor on the screen, I fell backwards into my couch and I said, kill me now. Just, just pull the trigger and kill me now. Because I don't like her and we all know that if she's around, we will be having to talk about Chris. Yes, I'm calling Swaggy Chris because that's his name. And when she saw his comic, she was all like, Ooh, I could have this pet, and I could be doing this to him on the wall, and I could be kissing him, and me, me, me. I could see him all the time. But there's also pictures of him in the other room, too. But she wanted the bigger one. Which means Tyler had to make the decision of his life and go, Well, I, if she takes that bed, then I can't have that bed to be close to Angela. Which... He probably wants to be close to Angela so he can look at her picture all the time. But since he can't, he took the bed that's behind it so that he could just walk around the corner and look if he needs to. And he took the Tangela Pella, which I knew he would. But anyways, she's from season 20. And she is 27. They did talk on the feeds. David said something about, or Tyler's told... Baylor, she had really nice hair, which was nice, but then David asked about the whole hacker fighting thing, and they actually talked about it like it was no big deal, except for during the show on CBS, Tyler avoided her like crazy, never hugged her, nothing, so we'll just have to wait until diary session to know about that. No, oh my god, we got Nicole F. The most, the, the most annoying bitch on the planet. She has the most annoying voice, and she's been on the show two other times, and I don't think she should be allowed back in the house. And plus, she won Big Brother, so she should not have been allowed back in the house. Let somebody else have it. And her voice is just cringy. But there is two pillows with two of her exes on them, so I wonder what she is going to do about that. Um, she's from seasons 16 and 18, and she's 28. Memphis. When they first showed him, I I got confused, and I was like, who the hell is that? I don't recognize him. It's Memphis. You know, from the Brigade. Oh no, the Renegades. Not the Brigade. Is he Brigade or Renegade? No, he was the one that was working with Dan. So, yeah. So he was the Renegades. And the Brigade was in Zero. Yeah, anyways. So, he... We'll just have to... I, I didn't hate him. I loved him this season. Memphis was my dude because he was with Dan. So, and, and you know what Dan said about that. If you look at Dan's Twitter. So, and he's from season 10. And he's 37. I don't know why they said just season 10. Because, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Here's Enzo.